Hello YouTube viewers, welcome to this video. I'm Venkat and this is Just Me, an open source channel. Right, in our previous video, we saw about Elastic Beanstalk. We deployed a sample application uh, using Elastic Beanstalk and uh, you saw how simple it was to deploy an application using Elastic Beanstalk as it takes care of everything, uh, every underlying resources. So in this video, um, I'm going to show you the command line option to manage your Elastic Beanstalk environment. You can create application, you can manage different environments. So it is EBCLI and there are a couple of ways to install EBCLI. So this video is just about uh, how to install EBCLI and in my next video um, I will show you how to deploy the same application uh, which we did in the previous video using EBCLI. So in this video it's purely about how to install EBCLI. So we have to have Python installed so there are a couple of ways to install. Amazon provides us with some setup scripts. You can just run that script and that will deploy uh, or install EBCLI for us uh, or we can use Python pip. So let me show you both the methods. So first uh, let's use the Python pip method. So you need to have Python uh, version 2.7 or 3.6 I think or whatever it is. I think it's 3. So I've got Python installed which Python. So user bin Python Python minus minus version, it's 3.7.3, .3, which pip, I've got pip installed, pip minus minus version, it's 19.03, and it's from the Python.3.7, it uses Python 3.7. Okay, so once you have Python and pip installed uh, in your distribution, uh, the command is going to be quite simple, pip install minus minus upgrade minus minus user AWS EBCLI. So that's the command. Um, since you can see that I've already installed uh, AWS EBCLI, uh, it's, you can see that requirement already satisfied. All the dependencies have already been installed. Okay, so that's done. The command is pip install minus minus upgrade minus minus user. AWS EBCLI. So that will install uh, the command EB. So EB is the command to um, uh, to interact with your Elastic Beanstalk AWS. Uh, okay, so which EB? So it's under dot local bin EB. So dot local bin is already in my path. Uh, so it found EB, but if you are using this for the first time, you need to add uh, your dot local bin to your path, uh, which I did. Export path equals dollar path colon dollar home dot local slash bin. So that's where EB gets installed when you use Python pip method. Okay, uh, that's how you install it. Um, make sure to put this in your dot uh, bash rc or dot zshrc, whichever shell you're using. Make that. Uh, make sure to put that in your uh, profile. Uh, so that you don't have to uh, run this export command every time. So that's how we install EB using Python pip. But it's not advisable to use this method. Uh, this one is a very quick method which I showed you, uh, but it's not a good practice. It's not advisable. According to the AWS uh, documentation, uh, you have to install um, a uh, EBCLI using the setup scripts they provide you. Uh, that's because EBCLI and if you happen to install AWS CLI, the video that I did, uh, I think it was the second or third video, uh, AWS CLI, the command line interface to interact with your AWS uh, through APIs. Uh, these both CLI commands, programs AWS and EB, has got different dependencies. So when it comes to upgrading uh, either EB or AWS CLI, there might be some dependency issues. So just leave AWS CLI aside and then use the setup scripts to install EB. But so far I didn't find any problems uh, installing using the Python pip method, which is the quickest and easiest method. Uh, but we might have problems in the future when it comes to upgrading either of those AWS or EB because of the dependencies. Okay, so let me delete this installation. Pip, uninstall AWS EB CLI, yes. Okay, so that's gone. Which EB? EB not found. Okay, let's go to the proper method of installing uh, EBCLI. So I'm going to go look for the AWS documentation on how to do that. Um, EBCLI, if you search for EBCLI setup scripts, 
uh, install the ebcli using setup script so that's the one and if we go down there you need to have git installed which git i've got git installed minus minus version 2.22.0 you don't have to have python installed you don't need to have pip installed everything will be installed by the uh, by the setup script so the first thing we're going to do is uh, git clone this uh, repository copy that and paste it and then i'm going to cd into the repository cd to scripts directory and you will see the bundled installer here okay so that's the script you just need to run bundled installer that's all uh, required all right so it's going to install python and it will install ebcli and everything it's installing python from the source and it's installing version 3.7.2 Whereas uh, the default, the system Python that I've got is 3.7.3. .3. So you don't have to worry about having different versions of Python. It's going to install this under .pyn under your home directory. So you don't have to worry about if you've got Python already installed. It's not going to clash or anything. And this ABCLI uh, will be installed as part of virtual environment. Um, so this is going to take a while and I'm going to pause the video and come back when it's ready and I'll show you what it actually did and then we need to do some additional steps to make uh, this version of Python available uh, in the path. We need to make sure that the EBCLI uses this version of Python instead of our default system version. All right, uh, the command has completed. The script has been run. So, okay, so if you look at here, let's go through step by step. Okay, so this is where we started running the script bundled installer. So the first step is it's installing the Python and it looks for uh, PyN in the path. If PyN is not in the path, it assumes that Python is not installed. And then it uh, clones the PyN repository and then builds the Python from source. Python 3.7.2 is installed at, if you look the path here, it's installed under uh, .py and versions 3.7.2 under your home directory and you need to add this to your part so if you're using bash copy this command if you're using zsh uh, copy this command so as I'm using zsh uh, z shell uh, I'm gonna copy this one so it simply exports the path uh, to the path variable and then it also happens that to uh, the uh, .zshrc and then sources .zshrc for this uh, bash environment sorry Z, uh, zsh environment okay so let's copy that and paste it okay that's done and then it goes to the ebcli installation it also installs the ebcli but if you look here it's creating a virtual n for ebcli and it installs ebcli and finally, we have to do this as well. We need to add eb uh, to the path as well. So it gets installed under its own virtual environment, which is .ebcli virtual env. So as I'm using Z shell, I'm going to copy this path here, uh, Control Shift C, and then paste it. Okay, that's done. Let's clear the screen now. And if I do which Python, so now you can see I'm not using the slash user uh, bin Python. I'm using Python from the uh, PyEnv. If I do Python minus minus version Python 3.7.2, which eb and eb is in this part. So we can close this terminal and we can launch another one. And again, if we do which eb, so that's uh, persistence because we wrote that to the uh, uh, zshrc file. Uh, it's there which Python so we are still using Python 3.7.2 okay so that's it that's how you install Python and this is the preferred way so make sure to use uh, this method instead of Python pip method and uh, let's look at some of the commands eb minus minus version ebcli version 3.15.2 and it's based on Python 3.7.2 eb minus minus help these are the list of uh, commands which we will be covering in our next video some of the important ones are eb init uh, for initialization, create to create a new environment. Uh, if you want to deploy a new version of the application, you can use eb deploy uh, for looking at the events, eb events, looking at the status, uh, health, that is health status. You can SSH uh, to the instance, the, the web instance. 
you can terminate an environment there are lots of things eb logs eb open will open uh, the application in a web browser so we will see all these in my next video and if you want to uh, look at any specific command you can do eb for example if you want to know more about uh, the options that you need to pass to create eb create minus minus help that's the option uh, you need to pass the environment name and these are all the list of uh, arguments that can be passed to the create command so that's a nice little help utility that you can use alright so that's it for this video I hope you enjoyed it if you've got any questions uh, or comments please um, leave me a comment and if you liked it please share it with your friends and please make sure to subscribe to my channel and in my next video we will see how to deploy uh, a web application exactly what we did in my previous video we will see how to do that uh, using ebcli it's going to be a lot more easier for developers um, instead of going with the uh, the infrastructure as a code approach which I showed in two videos before and then we simplified it by using Elastic Beanstalk and we are now further simplifying it by using the ebcli command line tool so once you start using it and um, getting used to uh, ebcli it's going to make your life a lot easier when it comes to app development deployment upgrading and so on so we will be looking at all these things in the future videos so thank you so much for your time watching this video I will see you all in my next video. Bye-bye.